It's tea time! This is where we spill the tea. I mean, we're here. We're on the Jones Beach boardwalk. Oh Dean my Snyder's God. calling in. Wrap it up. We've been hanging out with the hot teas. The hot teas, by the way, are amazing. <laughs> Hashtag Long, Long Island, Island Life. Life. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, welcome back to Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on why we love Long Island, especially in the fall. I'm Kristen. I'm um, Sharon. And I'm excited to be here. Oh my God. I'm telling you, Sharon. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. We've got quite the show. We do. Look at this. Look I mean, at this setup. If you're, if you're listening to us, you might, A, want to go to Instagram, which is Long Island Tea Podcast uh, on Instagram for mm -hmm. the visuals, or head over to uh, Long Island, what is it? Discover Long Island NY on YouTube, because mm -hmm. uh, we also film these, thanks right. to Chris, and um the visuals are everything. They are everything. We've today. got we've got um, <clears throat> happy Halloween. We're we're telling you on the show how to have a great Halloween party. I know. I'm so excited. We got some good tips. Yeah. I mean, this is these are our tips from Long Island, but I think they transcend. Right. Yeah, these go. Totally. In. We're we're gonna tell you anything we're sharing with you. You can get it. I mean, pretty much anywhere. Yeah, especially our Amazon shop. Yeah, we put a bunch of stuff. In fact, we actually have a happy Halloween store. Like we have a whole thing on Amazon, like a Halloween party. Yeah, boring idea. Yeah, yeah, where you can get all this stuff on Amazon. Uh, and I heard you. T I don't know if it was on here or somewhere else, <clears> but you have a whole Pinterest board. I do. That's so cool. I have a Pinterest <laughs> board. Actually, I think I say I, I have a Pinterest board called the Cool Mom. Oh, look at you! And uh, <laughs> that's so because so, so, the my party, you know, it's about the kids. Yeah, totally. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't, my party is an adult party. It's well, all for it's teenagers. It's fun because, like, you have the teenagers, I have the littles. Yeah. You know, these are mostly for, like, family party tips because um, we're not doing, like, the crazy stuff. Right. So um, I'm doing well because we're going to share. We've got such a great show and we're going to share a bunch of stuff, including all the stuff that you can see around here right now. We also have Mike Myers behind us. I know he came. That's He's awesome. got his Discover Long Island swag on, his he beanie, to join the party. which is hilarious, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and a great decor option. But uh, one thing that I'm not doing well about is that I did not win the lottery. Nope. Not nope. sure if you read. Nope. Did you see someone won the lotto? Yeah, how much was it? $700 million. Insane. One ticket matched those numbers. That's insane. I mean, I want to be happy for that person. Yeah, but a little bit I of can't. me is like, no. Nope. I can't. So, but I don't have $700 million <laughs> or even 10 or five or one. Or one. So thankfully we have wine. Yeah. Long and Island we're drinking, wine. yes, and we're so drinking good. our wine of the week. Thanks to Long Island Wine Country again for sponsoring our podcast. We are drinking today, and I thought it was good because it's a red. Yeah, um, so for Halloween. Halloween. We're drinking the 2015 Petit Verdot from Pellegrini Vineyards. We mm -hmm. haven't had Pellegrini yet. No, and a Petit Verdot is a really nice red. Oh it my sounds gosh. nice to say it. Yeah, right. Don't you feel like sophisticated? You're like, I'll just have the Petit Verdot. Yeah, we sound like Jamie. <laughs> I know that. Jamie from yesterday. She was like, it's a be it drinks beautifully. beautifully. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is drinking beautifully right yes, now. Yes, the Petit Verdot. The 2015 Petit Verdot is um, a complex wine. It has deep aromas of mulberry and mushroom and is supported by rich wild berry flavors. The palate is spicy, dark, and brooding, yielding a compelling companion to your next meal. I love it. So good. Speaking of next meals, do you see what Alyssa has oh got Oh my for us? God. This is so cute. So, so I, we're cute. excited about the fact that it's Halloween season. It is spooky season. And so we're telling you how to have your best Halloween party, which we promised you we mm -hmm. would do. And Alyssa is like showing us with this she is. adorable like, charcuterie board. My favorite part is this. Um, I think it's like a mandarin orange. Yeah. That she just has a little cu uh, not celery. cucumber, celery. God, I don't even know anything about vegetables. Or <laughs> it's a tangerine <laughs> like, with the what? celery. In oh, it. it's a tangerine with the celery in the middle. It looks like a pumpkin. It's so cute. She has um, some cheese balls with olives in it to look, make it look like eyeballs. So cute. And it's and incredible. Oreo Just cookies a with um, a little Hershey kiss on top. It looks like little witches. So and cute. And then was that a little a little tiny pumpkin, which you probably got at Stop and Shop, right? Um, and you fill it with grapes. It's so cute. And I just love the way that she displayed it. It's small enough for the two of yes. us. You can expand this and make yeah. it larger. There's a million examples of charcuterie boards that you could do or vegetable boards mm -hmm. that look like pumpkins. Um, yeah, I've actually done before for a fall party that I had. Like I had an Oktoberfest once, mm -hmm. but I took Rice Krispie treats and yeah. I made it into a pumpkin. Okay. So you take like food coloring. Oh, I've seen those. And it's so cute. I, you, I think I've seen those. Yeah, and then you form it into a pumpkin. And yeah. like you take the green section make it that seems top. hard it's so cute that seems hard to me 
Um, this is beautiful. Uh, I, I've tried to do those and they don't work out. So one of the things uh, here's <laughs> it doesn't the work. No, here's for me it doesn't work because you have to shape it like a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Mine look like a glob. Yeah, but then you stick the pumpkin thing on top of rice crispy glob. I love rice crispy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I ate it. <laughs> ate the whole okay. thing. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to give you some easy tips. So one of the things that you just talked about that um, we put in an, on the Amazon page, which. If you're if you're listening, get it right now because you know there's a shortage of everything. Right. Oh my gosh. Everything's gonna right? be gone. So there are these little eyeballs that, um, and again, I have I'm having there. They're kind of tilted on here, but they're candy eyeballs, and there's little ones and big ones, and you can get them right off Amazon. And the cute thing is, you put them on anything, and it immediately looks like cute and spooky. Yeah. You it's can put adorable. them on these witches. Or you the can put salami. Them on this, yeah. Yeah. And um, and you put them on like Tegan wants to make these cute little um, mummy hot dog mummies. Oh, have so you seen these? Cute. Yes. So they're just little hot dogs, and you wrap them in like little crescent roll strips, and then put the eyes on there. Adorbs. There you go. So um, cute. Or I've got some other examples here. This is uh, some Halloween candy bark. So it's basically just bark yeah. that then you break up and it's got, you know, Hershey Kisses and candy corn. You put the eyeballs on there. It looks boom. spooky. It looks it's so cute. cute. Immediately yeah. cute. Um, the eyeballs are everything and they go, they make everything look adorable. Um, and then this was another really easy fix, I thought. So you get a bread bowl, mm -hmm. right? And you this. hollow it yeah. out and you put some spinach dip in there. And then all you do is you slice some green onions and you make them like the little spider legs. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. And then you can either use the eyeballs that are on here, which are the same size, or you could do, it looks like a radish and a little black olive. Oh my gosh, adorable. Yeah, we'll put all of this on our Instagram page, so make sure you're following uh, Long Island Tea Podcast on the Insta. But I mean, that is, to me, this is my speed, Sharon. Yeah, this is same. all I can do, yeah, is I can exactly. hollow out a bread bowl and make stick some green dip. onions on yeah. there, or green peppers, and then it's it. That's it. It's so cute. Those mummies look and adorable. And these mummies are so cute. And we'll again, we'll put these pictures on here if you're not watching the the YouTube. But that, I mean, t I'll probably mess that up too because I feel <laughs> like be that honest. looks <laughs> that looks intricate. I bet you Tegan's got it. Though. Tegan can do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the uh, these eyeballs, just get them because they, you put them on anything and they immediately and they're candy. They're edible. Yeah. They're and they're so edible. Cute. Yeah. And then um, so. I just put some stuff out here too, like this tablecloth. Yeah. I randomly I got it at Home Goods. It's beautiful. By the way, did you hear that Home Goods now is online? No. Are you kidding me? I don't know how they Changed just launched my world. An, I know. I don't know how they're going to do that I though, because the whole thing at Home Goods is you go to the store and you never know. Like this won't ever be there again. Happy. You know. Um, <laughs> but if you want to check out, I would recommend they always have great tablecloths and napkins and cute stuff like this, and it's cheap. It's super cheap, That's and what it I love immediately about Home Goods. makes. The entire room looks festive. It does. It does. And it's beautiful. It's got some gold stitching. Yeah, it's a little it's so sparkles pretty. in it. And then you don't have to break the bank, right? Right. So some stuff we always, we like, we like to talk about expensive stuff, but some stuff isn't. So I just got like um, orange and black because uh, it's orange and black tablecloth with mm -hmm. some sparkles. So get, you can get just like regular uh, plastic plates. Yep. And then instead of red solo cups, I got orange solo cups. Yeah, and that's what I love about it. You can find them anywhere now, yeah. like red, uh, orange, or green. Yeah. You know, so cute. I think I got them all on, I can't remember, Inst uh, Party City or um, Amazon probably. But a lot of stuff was sold out already. Right. So you need to don't delay. Probably find them at Stop and Shop too. Yeah, maybe. You know? I got the orange cups. They, you could do orange or black solo mm -hmm. cups, but I like, I'm still the mom that likes the Sharpie. And yeah. I make you write your name yes, on it absolutely. when you come in. Especially so that now. You're not, especially now. This is your cup. Don't drink out of anyone else's cup. Yep. It's already no. Yeah, exactly. We did on our Amazon page, I I loved this. This was like for the adults in the room. Yeah. You could probably even use it for the kids, but some wine glasses with skeletons. It's so hands cute. Holding those were so cute. so cute. I think I'm going to get those. Those are adorable. They're, They're cheap. Oh my God. Adorbs. So cheap. And then I also found... And plastic, um, so you don't have to worry about your stuff, exactly like your nice breaking. wine glasses breaking. That's right? like my new favorite thing. You can buy mm -hmm. like plastic wine glasses that are actually wine glasses, not yeah. the plastic little cups. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have yeah. the stem and everything. No, I think I'm going to get those. Yeah. They were really cute. Um, I also did the skeleton um, ice cubes. So like, you know how we Ooh. talked about like the bigger... They're called something, uh, ice balls or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? I can't. No, okay. we are literally a Saturday Night Live scare right now. We're we like are. ice balls, sweater weather, but no. What were they called? Sweaty, Sweaty balls. balls. Yeah, yeah, ice <laughs> balls. Okay, all right. So, but they're in this in this shape of a skeleton, a mm -hmm. skull, 
So, so cute with the skeleton hands. You can put the ice skulls mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in your drink. Um, you know what my favorite part about Halloween parties is? What? The fog machine. Oh, yes. And that's on there. And that's on there. It's super cheap. It's like $29. So cute. And it, you just put that by your front door. Right. And just automatically makes everything so spooky. It does. And it's cute. So we have a really scary um, Mike Myers cut out behind us where he's like stabbing people. Um, also not expensive. I did not break the bank. Uh, this was like 30 bucks, yeah. I think. And also, it's life size. Like, yeah, it's six foot. Cool. It's yeah. six foot tall. But um, you can, I've seen the blow up ones and a bunch oh, yeah. of, so you can yeah. get crazy. This is, a, I'm sure it's a one time use. Yeah. The kids are going to beat this thing. God knows. It'll have a mustache but on him by the end of the night. Like, this is Insta ready. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Insta pick ready. Um, but so here's a little tip that I learned today is because I had all this stuff for Halloween and I wasn't going to break it out until today's podcast and I hung it up. So I, like I got this really cute fabric, happy Halloween know, sign that's behind you. Um, but you know what I did? <laughs> well, here's some tea. What I realized is I literally opened it up right here yeah. in my office and I hung it up and I realized there was no O. The O's missing. <laughs> that My sign, brand new, out of the package. Had no, no o. o. So I just moved the pumpkin that was in between and I made the pumpkin the O because I'm crazy. Smarty pants. But also... You never know, okay? With what the world we're living in mm-hmm. today, things are just below expectation. Oh, yeah. Everything is totally, brand new. right? So get your stuff out and make sure it's right before yeah. Halloween because then you don't want to be stressed. Yeah, exactly. Party. You know what else I love real what? quick for a party is getting like, I put it on the Amazon page too, is getting a really large witch's cauldron and filling it with dry ice mm-hmm. as like a drink. Yeah. Like a cooler, you know. No, that's adorable. Where do so you get cute. dry ice? Um, you can get it on Amazon. Dry ice? Yeah. That seems dangerous. You can get anything on Amazon, to be honest. I know, but doesn't that seem dangerous? A little bit. How does it, it doesn't burn you? You gotta be careful with dry ice. Yeah. Scares me. Um, I think it's the same sort of stuff that goes into the fog machine, actually. I don't know. What? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, where to get dry? I think you can, there are definitely places definitely. locally. Probably I'm sure. Probably Party City. Yeah, well, and um, the grocery store probably around Halloween sells dry ice, yeah. right, Alyssa? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so the other things that we have provided for you for your viewing pleasure mm-hmm. um glow sticks yay because a, it's not a party if it's not glowing literally and <laughs> and also it's good for little kids yeah. like if your kids are running around light them up yes so you can see them because yes. it gets dark yep. here especially on long island it gets dark so early so early lately that's right? my first what is when happening? i came here for halloween i was like it was pitch black mm-hmm. by the first time i went to go trick-or-treating and i'm not used to that um but i bought like they had the bulk pack is what we put on Amazon. They're not expensive, and mm-hmm. there there was like four cans. Of, I have glow sticks for days. I have an so Armageddon. You don't need to like I have an Armageddon supply of glow sticks. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. Yeah, of exactly. Glow sticks. Exactly. <laughs> um, and the other thing I think we put in the in the Amazon page are um, eyeball gummies. Yes. Which grosses me out to so think about. So gross. They're like but jellies, right? Again, you can just drop them in literally any yep. drink. Yep. Like even if you're drinking white wine or champagne, you drop a little eyeball gummies in there. It immediately feels spooky. Also, uh, there's a game you can play with the kids oh. where you put them in a spoon. Okay. And, and you like run like, back and like forth. It's toss. like a relay yeah. game and you try not to drop the gummies Ooh, out. Oh, that's fun. FYI. That is I fun. I mean, we're dropping some tea on you guys for how yeah. to have your Halloween party, we're right? We're it. One other really, really easy thing you can do is we put it, I think it's on Amazon, uh, is the spider web. Yes, this is so this is like, fun. First of all, this is $8 for one package. Do not buy multiple packages of this. Because it spreads so it, far. You're supposed to thin it out. Yeah. Okay. This can cover a city block. Okay. <laughs> this I, one 24 ounce Literally, package. I bought yeah. extra, I, I'll get extra ones. And then I'm like, no, no. Because you're supposed the thinner it is the more it looks spooky and i'm telling you that alone just putting on your bushes first of all getting it off you want it's it hard. it's it's not okay does all it right? stick to everything it is it like real cobwebs you i need like hurricane to come through and like <laughs> blow it, it off, off. <laughs> yeah because <laughs> it doesn't actually fully come off for a long time but you put it on your mailbox yeah you put it like you around your front it. door mm-hmm. it's like tinsel oh my god <laughs> just that even if you don't want to do a lot of decorating yeah just do that yeah, it's enough to spooky. Yeah. You know who's really into Halloween and decorating decorating their house? Nikki and our team. Nikki gets into like the life everything. size spiders, like the like everything. five feet long. Did you spiders. see her husband put a thing on Instagram the other day and it was like the, these are all the signs that my wife has. These are the ones like in <laughs> that storage. That were not hung up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and it's that. all these like motivational cute the, all the so signs cute. you see like yeah. pretty much every sign you've ever seen at Home Goods. Yeah. She's got a, she's a garage got, full. Because she, she switches yeah. out. 
we Smart. flip I, our porch. Yeah. She changes her whole home decor. She's so cute. I know. I could never do that. I I love it. I I aspire to do that, but no, it's too much time. Yeah. So let's talk about the front porch. So though, the front these are porch, beautiful. These are beautiful. She has one that um it stick. She says decorate your front front porch and stick with a theme and color palette. Mm. Mm-hmm. The modern black and white with a splash of color. Use white pumpkins and paint them with black stripes or spray paint them gold metallic. This Which is beautiful. Is so gorgeous. I mean, I this lo- is this literally, is, if this you look is at my, this, my alley straight right here. pottery barn. Yeah. I mean, but you like it, but you're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But <laughs> it looks easy. I mean, like you it already looks easy. have. Famous last words. Right. You have the um, lanterns, right? I mean, you I love the them. trees. The trees make it. I have the lanterns, yes. And then you just get like a black and white. I have the lanterns. And I actually Welcome have rug. white they're not real. I have these really cute white pumpkins that I got one year, I think at Michael's. Oh, beautiful. And I got the last two. And thank God, because you can't find th- this stuff anymore. But I like the gold ones. And that's just and spray the paint. I think that's so pretty. This is so cool. And then um, it's gorgeous. she does another one with a uh, fall farm motif. Mm-hmm. I Red, love it. orange, yellow, rusted This pumpkins. is more like, I have that wreath, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, me too. And like corn stalks. This is really like This is like porch. a Long Island. This is Long Island flipping you went to the farm. You went to the North Fork. You went to the Melville Farm. Yeah, you got White your Coast haystack farms. and your mums. You got your <laughs> corn stalks. I'm always corn like, stalks. <laughs> what are people doing with all that corn right? strapped to the top of their minivan? Sticking out their windows. Like, How what's are they going to eat that much corn? And somebody was like, like, uh, it's for your porch. I'm yeah. Like, Whoa. Yeah. What? No, this is fun though. And the mums. Yeah. The mums. Oh, this is a total Long Island. This is perfect. Yeah. This is. This I is love more it. realistic. And this for is me. more like fall, like not fall. just Halloween. Fall. This is like you know yes. October through okay. mid December. And what was the other one down here? This one's cute. This I one's cute. Never... This looks difficult. No. No. This is too intricate. This is... Alyssa. The spider webs are easy. They're just. Sticks. Nope. And so she strength. says, this is the mummy decor, mm-hmm. mummy door, you, and black cat spiders and pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, and spider webs. I don't know. This one looks hard. She says these spider webs, and this will be on the Instagram too. She says they're easy because you just, they're sticks that you do string. Can you imagine? No. I would never, ever, ever, ever do this. But it looks so hard, right? It. Even if it's easy to wrap the sticks with string, then you have to assemble them. Yeah. I and just then, hung and this sign behind you, and it already fell off, and I almost threw it away. <laughs> and we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> I taped it with some scotch tape, right? and it fell off one time. I'm like, never mind, just chuck it. It's so funny. But inside decor, she's got some good ideas. Like, if you take, if you go to Michael's or, you know, even the dollar store sometimes mm-hmm. has these little bird wooden birdhouses, mm-hmm. and you paint them black to make them look like haunted houses. Oh, that's cute. So cute, right? Oh, is that what that is? Oh, that's yeah, cute. Yeah, and it looks adorable. Ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, you can do an accent wall to look like a monster with black wall covering of fabric with white paper bunting flags. That's that's a lot. <laughs> and construction I paper. Like the, I like the little mason jars that she's wrapped in, like uh, or either painted uh, white and orange, and then you've got like straws in there, cute that's little so straws. Cute. Yeah, I like that. And like the, you, you know, like the little sh- milkshake straws that are stripes and whatever. I mean, that's really cute. That is adorable. I think, and then like she said take some wine bottles and spray paint them and then add labels to make them look like poison. Never going to happen. But that's easy. Those are little easy things. Yeah. No, here's what I'm going to do and I'll put this again. You know, this is on my Pinterest page um, but I'll give it to Brie is I I can't do that stuff like that crafty stuff but I like the easy stuff like the charcuterie boards and throwing an eyeball in a drink. Yeah. The dry ice. Yeah. um, And then this is a great idea I thought a caramel apple bar. That is so awesome. So you just get apples. But it's super messy. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, so I don't know about you, but like these days, weather permitting, we're trying to do it outside. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And mm-hmm. so that makes this more palatable. Yes. If you're having yeah. an outside party. Yeah. And my kids are teenagers. Yeah. They'll although have so that much doesn't fun mean they're it. less messy. Right. Okay. Probably. Yeah. But it's easier for me as long. And so you get like the cupcake um, fillers. You know. Yeah. The yeah. cupcake paper things. Yeah. And you get a bunch of apples, you put them out, and then there's caramel, and you have the spatula, and they can do it in caramel, and then you put like some accoutrements out. You put some M and M's, or you put what else is here? What I don't did even you call know. It? Accoutrements. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like Jamie. Yeah. It's a beautiful soft blanc. It's drinking beautifully. Yeah, I'm. I'm learning from her. I want to be <laughs> sophisticated, like she sounds. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know what these other uh, accoutrements are. You could do like Oreos or marshmallows, and you put them in jars, and then let the let the, let kids. the kids dip it. And so. It's a treat. Yep. Slash. It's an activity. Yeah. They're busy. Yeah. That's awesome. Something to do. Yeah. Um, do you guys that. bob for apples? No. I don't think you can anymore because of COVID, right? Right. Probably not. It's but weird. I've never even done that. 
regardless. Yeah, I've done that. But um, no. And then when your kids are little, too. Uh, I've done I mean, that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. You can't do that stuff yeah. anymore. Um, there was another funny thing when my kids were little, because your kids are, and you can get like pin the tail or pin the hat on the witch. On the witch, yeah. That's cute. Fun little things. Fun little things. And I, like I was saying a couple episodes ago, like Braden likes to make these little jump scare haunted house. Like, yeah. Tr- you know, I love trails. his, I'm telling you, it's I love like a his scavenger party hunt. planning. Like you find little notes uh-huh. and then uh-huh. pieces of candy. That's amazing. And then like somebody will jump out. So yeah. cute. I love it. So we've got uh, these, these tips, hopefully again, some stuff that is, if you're, if you're like Alyssa and, and you're creative. creative. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do all this stuff. Or then, we didn't even on, talk about this cocktail. I know we're going to, but okay. if you're on her level, you can do all that crazy stuff. If you're on mine and Sharon's level, right? You stick some green peppers on the side of a bread bowl. Yep. And or throw some gummy <laughs> eyeballs in a thing and call it a day. Yeah, and exactly. get your claw. I'm going to get those claw yeah, things. They're so cute. Um, and you can make a fancy drink like this, this one. This one that Caroline has done for us. Yeah. This is amazing. Um, she got the recipe from our member partner, Spiros. Spiros yeah. Which is awesome. It's called burnt pumpkin. Mm-mm-mm. I I don't even know it's what it's delicious. Says. Hold on. Uh, where's the Spiros um, thing? I've got it here because Spiros, by the way, is legit known for their incredible cocktails. Yeah. Um, it's in it's where you live, right, Alyssa Rocky Point. Um, it's not far from where I live in East Atwood. East Atwood. East Atwood. But Spiros, honestly, one of the best dinner I've never dates. Been. Oh That's my awesome. god! I gotta go. It's unassuming. Like you walk in, and you don't think it, it's beautiful on the outside. Right. It's like they've got the fire flames. It looks very like almost like Grecian. And then you, you walk in, and I was kind of like, oh, I, I was like, this isn't what I expected. But then we sit down. Honestly, the best, one of the best meals, best really? service. Really, that's amazing. They're known for their really cool seasonal intricate cocktails. This is so awesome. Yeah, highly recommend. So this signature cocktail is called the burnt pumpkin. Yes. It includes Dutch caramel vodka. Or other caramel vodka, if it's not available. Frangelico, Godiva white chocolate liqueur, and some homemade pumpkin puree. And then she drizzled it with some caramel syrup. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, here's me when they were making an... Because um, Alyssa's like, I got to go get the pumpkin puree. I'm like, where do you go to get pumpkin, to get pumpkin puree? puree? How are you going to go get pumpkin? And I'm, And she's like, you could do... It's at the grocery store. Stop and shop. It's like, yeah, canned. Canned. And I'm like, like, a lot of dog people... You should know this. You give your dogs pumpkin when they have belly what? aches. What? Yeah. So my sister actually makes ice cubes of it. Because a can... Because she's got a small dog. But um, a can will... Just one little teaspoon of pumpkin puree will help your dog's belly ache baby food, you can get baby food. Baby food. yeah i've never heard that in my life yeah so if your dog is like having a hard time no i'm like 911 you give you <laughs> put a little dog, scoop of pumpkin puree sick, in your I'm food like, hell of app yeah <laughs> I, I, we gotta go i like i you know i'm yeah. a big dog yeah. mom but um this is delicious i have to say i am not a pumpkin lover like i don't love pumpkin obviously this is like caramel though but this is delicious yeah. like i can't yeah. I love and it. And so, I don't again, know what I want. it's the called Spiro's Burnt. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to drink this pumpkin. for a minute. Spiro's Burnt Pumpkin. And uh, for more information, go to spiroslounge.com and check them out. And I will tell you from personal experience, great, great service evening. The food was impeccable. Yeah. It was really amazing. It, it, it blew me away. Um, and I don't know what this other, what is this other thing? You this eat one social. is... Um, the Hocus Pocus, I believe. The Sanderson sister elixir. Oh, the same one. We talked about that last yeah. week, didn't we? The, but yeah, this the is the, their signature cocktail, which is... Oh, the, it, okay. It looks very fancy. It's called the Sanderson it's sister called. elixir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bottom layer incorporates orange vodka, orange juice, orange curaco, vanilla simple syrup, and a dash of fresh lime juice for balance. Shaken and to be poured over fresh ice and to be layered on top with blue tea, which Ooh. is also known as butterfly pea tea. What? The tea is, um, which is a tea that re- reacts with the acidic quality of the citrus and changes from a dark blue to that pink purple color that is layered in the drink. That is so cool. That sounds amazing, but I got to tell you, this one seems like just get but some caramel color. vodka. Yeah, get some caramel vodka. And throw some Godiva <laughs> chocolate, white chocolate liqueur, and some Frangelico, and maybe some pumpkin juice from this can. <laughs> That, now, we're talking, go. now we're talking now we're talking oh Sharon. my god i love this it drink this good. drink is delicious this is dangerous I this know. is one of those drinks where you're like <laughs> <laughs> i know uh so thanks to spiros uh so hopefully we've given you some uh things to nosh on some decor mm-hmm. some drinks 
And um, and you are ready for your Halloween party. And uh, just so you know, next week we're going to have a medium ooh, on. Ooh, 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 I can't ooh. even. And people are like begging to come and watch this too. And I'm like, no. Like our staff? Our staff. That's so funny. Also, all my kids. Oh my gosh. They're like, we want to come. I'm like, no, 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 Not no. Um, <laughs> the only other thing I'll say, and this is about Halloween on Long Island, it does get dark. But one of the cool things, and you have to be really careful about like letting your kids out. Mm-hmm, and Halloween's mm-hmm. on a sat. I'm having it's on a Sunday. Sunday. This so I'm year, having yeah. a party on a Saturday, which I think I think everybody is. Yes. Yeah. But on a Sunday for kids to want trick or treat, light them up, mm-hmm. go with them, make sure there's. But um, interestingly enough, Nassau County was just named the safest. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Said light them up. <laughs> light them up. I mean, don't with glow light them on fire, obviously, but make sure that they're illuminated. Yeah. Yes. Um, thank you, Sharon. Uh, safety. Uh, NASA was named safest uh, community in the U.S. for the second year Isn't in a row. That incredible. By U.S. News and World Report. This That's is not amazing. A joke. Like yeah. this is, and I'm sure Suffolk County is not far behind. Far behind. No, absolutely. Especially with all the police departments we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'll tell you next week, but I. I was telling you about this article I printed about village life, about yeah, Suffolk County Police hysterical. Departments. Uh, we'll we'll read it next week. Yes, yeah. it's, it's legitimately insane. Um, yeah, we have more police than you can imagine. Firefighters. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I think that's why. I think that's why. A hundred percent why. Yeah. And and also we always talk about it, but like the community involvement yes. and how people are like, y- people know you. Yeah, it's in crazy. your own community, mm-hmm. you go out. You, there's no hiding from no. Long Island. No. Everybody knows everybody. So, um, yeah. So, I, Halloween is really fun here because you do. You feel safe and it feels fun. And if it's outside, we actually have an out an outdoor movie theater that we're going to blow up. Oh, my gosh. Like the inflatable? Yeah. I oh, never used so I haven't cool. used it all summer. We got it during COVID, right. obviously, when everybody was like, stay home. Right. Um, but we didn't use it all summer because I felt like it was either a hurricane or oppressive heat every weekend yeah so i didn't use it so uh, we're gonna put it on outside and we'll have like scary movies i think that's so fun i know so, some speaking of movies if it doesn't yeah. have to be scary you can ro- watch the um, rocky horror picture show yes like Alyssa was saying that's a traditional that's actually halloween a really good idea movie to put that on because yeah. it's got music and it's fun it's so fun you know what else one i love is um oh my gosh what is it the plant what is it that's the rocky horror picture show. is it yeah no no Little Shop of Horror. Little Shop of Horror. Oh, yes. okay, okay, okay. I love that movie. Yeah, where the plant eats everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, I love that Poetry. one. Poetry. <laughs> you don't like that one? Oh, like that oh one. my gosh, oh. that's such a good yeah, movie. Yeah, that's good. I like that one too. Um, yeah. So here's to a wonderful Halloween party Cheers. for everyone, um, and hope this is helpful. And follow Long Island Tea Podcast Instagram, and we'll put all the stuff on there. Yeah. Um, also, uh, now we're talking about Sharon. I have some celebrity. You do. I do. Okay. Um, and it's kind of like Long Island Life slash celebrity. I think I know what it is. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now it's a test. <laughs> um, so by the time this airs, by the way, this weekend is uh, the Hamptons Film Festival. Mm-hmm. Is that what I was going to say? No. Okay. I've got more. So it, it might, it might, might rear its ugly head. But the Hamptons Film Fest is October 7th through 13th. So it'll still be going on when this airs, the, em- the end of it. Um But normally, like, film festivals show obscure movies, and I'm not really into film festivals usually. Although I've had the privilege of going to the Hamptons Film Festival. Right, I was going to say, you've been there. Uh, And it's, like, literally at Alec Baldwin's house. They're, like, the kickoff party, (laughs) and you're hanging out with Alec Baldwin. I mean, I think that's totally Long Island. I think that's so Long Island, and so awesome. Yeah, I I went up to him last year, or the year before, whenever, pre-COVID, I guess, and I met him, and I was like, hi. Uh, I'm Kristen from Discover Long Island. We do a lot of marketing for the destination. I'd love to have you as the voice. And yeah. he was like, okay, tell my people. Like, Talk also, my, get away from me. Call my people. Like, I, stalker. And then it turns out, like, we called his people, and he was like, No, they were like, I'm busy. A, he's like, sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but, you know, never give up hope. Right. Uh, but anyway, the Hamptons Film Festival, ne- need anyone think that Long Island is not the place to be in October and right. the Hamptons? Right. This is what's happening at this year's Hamptons Film Festival, Okay. Uh, first of all, there's a new movie. I want to see all these movies. Okay. Uh, there's a new movie coming that's being, they're all being debuted here. It's called First Wave. Oh, yes. Did you hear about this? Yes. And it's about the first wave of the coronavirus, because remembering that New York City and Long Island were the epicenter, epicenter of this. Epicenter, yeah. And it's totally uh, about the Long Island Jewish Medical Center, where it started, right. kind of. And it's, uh, to me, to seeing it is going to be 
I don't know if I can handle it yet. It might be hashtag too soon. Yeah, but you know what? It, I think New York Times did a whole thing. Mm. Like, what? Mm. I don't know what. I watched the Britney Spears episode, that, yeah. whatever. But I started watching the episode on New York Times on Hulu about they followed a bunch of doctors and nurses yeah. during the whole Yeah, se- and that was in the city, I think, that was in right? The city, yeah. Yeah, I, I've heard about that documentary. It's pretty but powerful. But this one is the Long so this is the Medical mo- yeah, Center. Yeah, the movie First Wave. Um, which is about what happened to the coronavirus. I think that's going to be really cool. Then they're going to debut Spencer hmm. about Lady Diana, Ooh. starring Kristen Stewart. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! This is going to be happening literally this weekend. This in is the amazing. Then another movie that they're doing is this is Selma Blair. Oh, uh, you know Selma Blair. Yeah, her uh, stories. And she had um, MS. MS. Yeah. yeah, and she still does, but she's learned, you know, how to cope with it. I think she's in remission, maybe. Right. Even. But it's a great movie about her journey, wow. which I think would be amazing, um, shining the light on MS. And so, obviously, this is like star-studded this weekend. Yeah. Uh, here's another one: a movie called "Come On, Come On." Starring Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, my babe. Right? So he'll be out. God knows what's going to happen. We're going to have some Long Island Joaquin stories. Yeah, I can't Let's wait. Just brace yourself <laughs> for that. Wait. I think I heard the Bordy Barnes closing uh, after 51 years. Brie is beside herself. It's like closing for good? Yeah. What? I didn't know that. Yeah. 51 wow. years. Why? So, I don't know. Wow. That's incredible. I don't know, but... I, I don't know why I'm equating this with Joaquin Phoenix, I either, but I have but a feeling we're we going to get some stories. <laughs> and uh, and then the, uh, the last movie I wanted to mention is just because I think it's so cool. Uh, it's called The French Dispatch, starring Bill Murray. Oh, my gosh. And like I Tilda, Tilda Swint- Swinton or Sw- um Anyway, yeah. So th- these are all movies that they're debuting, debuting at the Hamptons Film Fest. Are you for- going? No, I wish. I wish, too. I was uh, gonna say, get HamptonsFilmFest.com. <laughs> nope. That's a lie. HamptonsFilmFest.org. Dot org. Yeah. Uh, for more information on that, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a scene. It is going to be a scene out it in the look, Hamptons that this sounds weekend. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I mean October, and like, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend. Oh, I know. And we already today. What is it? Seventy five. It. I. So I took tomorrow off. I just know. like randomly because the weather's so nice. I'm it like, is. It, you have huh. to. You have to. Like we're getting towards the end of the year where we're like, yeah. we need to use our time. Is so oh, my long. pumpkin fell off the Halloween oh. sign. Uh-oh. It's fine. My O is missing. Um. And Bree saw it happen. <laughs> this is, it's fine. This is what I'm saying. Just chuck it. I'm like, Alyssa's like, it's fine. Just create sticks and weave them together in a spider web <laughs> covered in what? I'm like, what? <laughs> what? My, my Halloween Felt figure. Halloween sign. I'm like, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Buy no. a new one. How did it even fall off? I don't no, know. No, because I had it Maybe ghetto taped on there. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, a ghost. Ooh, Good oh, tie-in. Oh. So, uh, speaking of a ghost, like, I have this as a teaser, but I think this is so funny. I want to make sure everyone hears it. <laughs> everyone needs to hear this. Because <laughs> we are, our, our Long Island TV is blowing up. So, Brie is doing such a great job as the amazing. new host she of really Long is. Island TV. If you have not seen our latest episodes on YouTube at mm-hmm. Discover Long Island NY, please go because... The new the the one we just did on White Post Farms. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. So cute. Bree's got like a carrot in her mouth, and a giraffe is eating it. It and the birds, and the birds are attacking like we her. We talked about it. It's like Pocahontas. <laughs> and the TikTok that they did, Caroline did the TikTok of of this, and it got 140 thousand views already. Wow, it's amazing. At White Post Farms. So the next one they're filming next week. I know. So exciting. Is they're going to go to the Southampton Museum where they're they have ghost tours. Yeah. And yeah. and they're also partnering with the Long Island Paranormal. Paranormal, Paranormal Association. Mm-hmm. Who knew that was a, a thing? A thing. And it's crazy. Uh, so I'm talking to the team about it yesterday, and I'm like, okay, who's going? What's the deal? And uh, I'm so glad I'm not doing that show anymore, right? so that I don't have to do that. Bree's right? gonna do it. Bree's taking one for the team, and she's gonna go. <laughs> she's gonna go do this ghost tour at night with oh the Paranormal Association of this haunted museum that is totally haunted. And uh, Chris is like, Chris is like. I don't know. It's going to be scary. I'm like, Chris is manly. OG Chris, Chris is OG like manly Chris. freaking out right now. He's like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's going to be like, it's going to be, I'm going to be freaked out. And I'm well, like, he's like, what did he say to you? He's like, I got to like pack extra yeah, batteries. So then, <laughs> so then he's like, you know, I got to, you know what happens like on Ghostbusters? They always say like that it drains your battery, your right. camera battery. So I got to pack extra. And I'm like, are we really planning? <laughs> Based on what happened on Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. you're planning your equipment. <laughs> this is happening, 
And he is. Yeah. Oh, he's 100%. Like, like, he's legit. like, I saw Ghostbusters. And then we have Marissa, who's like... And then Marissa. She's like a legit ghost hunter. Yeah. And he's uh. like, Marissa's going to come to get some behind the scenes footage because she's also like a... Uh, paranormal. W- yeah. She's like a novice uh, paranormal ghost hunter. I'm okay. like, I'm sorry, what? This is like so funny. She, uh, what? This is crazy. I'm like, you know what? And that's why I, t- I came back to Sharon. I'm like, I don't... You know, I don't need to know everything. Right. About you know, the staff's like, personal life sometimes. Don't tell cool. me. Like, don't <laughs> tell me. I'm like... Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> just just leave that part out. Yeah. But, you know, listen. Halloween brings out... Oh, my gosh. The freak everything. show with people. Yeah. Right? And, the, and fears and uh, extra talents. <laughs> so, I can't wait to hear... I think, I think it's going to be so I'm awesome. I'm excited. Like, I, as much as I hate it, I love it. Well, you and know, you know like, Brie, first of all, Brie is all about psychics yes. and literally lives her life by psychics. Verbatim by what they say. I mean, yeah. she manifests everything a psychic has ever told her. Mm-hmm. So she, if there's anybody that's going to welcome spirits, yeah. it's Brie. Yeah, They're going to so. gravitate towards her. She's going to feel everything. Oh, God, I got the chills. It's per- <laughs> this Long Island TV episode is going to be... Wait. You know what I'm so excited about? What? Excited. Excited. Um, we got 200 plus followers oh my god from yeah. our post i think that's new followers so, yeah new followers yeah. that's awesome yeah we have like 300 or something so we are doing a giveaway to rose hill where if you watched us last week we were at this beautiful vineyard beautiful, with an inn beautiful vineyard gorgeous like b and b inn it's amazing this package is awesome we're giving it away thank you to rose hill yes. for giving it to us whoa our instagram blew, blew up. up i know we have like 600 plus comments on like that one post oh my which is God. so awesome so we're gonna do the drawing on our next um taping yeah we're yeah, gonna so do we'll, it live so we're we're gonna show you yeah. we're gonna do like the how we do the drawing i think it's like a randomized Randomizer. instagram thing yep. mm-hmm. and we'll pick the winner and then we'll announce it yeah next week i'm it's super excited so awesome. if you're if you're if you're a hot tea and you've applied for this next week we're gonna pick Tune you in hot yeah teas. exactly um, okay, so I have a little bit more celebrity. Hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. I got some too. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, so, did you? Oh my God. So, here's a funny story. Last week when it was homecoming, mm-hmm. so I'm taking Tegan and her friend Kai, um, who, by the way, I love Kai that he's the boy on the cheerleading team. Oh my God. I love, love, love. Yeah, so cute. And so she's like, can we take Kai? So, I were. Uh, in the car, and I'm trying to pump them up for homecoming because they've got the homecoming. I'm excited. Yeah, What'd you so blast? To... What move, what songs did so, you blast? So, of course, I'm blasting uh, Shake Your Love by Debbie Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what I used to blast. I mean, to me, this is like homecoming. Hype. Yes, yes. Okay? And they're, they're of they're course, like, like, what? What is happening? Debbie Gibson. I'm like, no. Of course, Tegan knows. Yeah. Because yeah, she <laughs> breathes it. I'm her mom. Yeah. Remember uh, Chris and Brie when we were coming back from the Christmas thing and I made you guys all listen to Debbie Gibson? Because they're the Brie and uh, they didn't know who Debbie Gibson was. I was like, like Wait, and then I play her song. Chris and doesn't know who no, Debbie Deb- Gibson No, Chris do, but Brie, okay. Brie didn't. I was going to say. Um, <laughs> so I literally tortured them and le- made them listen. But then they were like, oh, yeah, no, we know. Yeah. Like, we know these songs, yeah. but they just didn't, didn't know. know. And the I'm names like, or also, whatever. she's from Long Island. So, funny story. So then I'm listening to Shake Your Love. Or what's the other one? Shake Your Love and the other one. Only in my dreams, maybe. Only anyway, in my dreams, yes. Uh, anyway, we were listening. And then I'm clicking around later that day and heard Debbie Gibson has a, an hour-long show now every week on The Blend on what? Sirius XM wow. called Mixtape. That's awesome. Yeah, where, and she, so, when is it? I, it's know. on the weekend. Okay. Um, right. And I don't know when it runs exactly, but uh, so she's at Debbie Gibson on Twitter. We need to, we need to Debbie, if you're listening, I feel like... You need to be a hot tea. I know. You're a hot tea. (laughs) But it was so cute because I was listening to her and her mixtape of last weekend was about fall. And she's on Long Island. So awesome. Because she was talking about her outfit. And I'm like, you are so here on Long Island. I know exactly where you live. Um, I know where you are. I'm wearing shorts because it was gorgeous. She's like, I'm wearing shorts, but also my tank top with a flannel over it and my cute little boots. So cute. And I'm ready for fall. And this is my favorite season. She's like, it's the best time of year on pumpkins. And she was talking about, I'm like, that's not everywhere, Debbie. Yeah. It's just, just only because you're on Long Island. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just, fall is not that magical right. everywhere you go. Right, Um, But it was so cute because she, so she does a mixtape hour long special on I the need blend to tune in. on Sirius once a week. That's awesome. Um, so my celebrity yeah. is NKOTB is coming to the UBS arena. Oh my God. Boop, boop, and salt and pepper. I saw so that excited. part of the mixtape. Yeah. That's like yeah, the, the mixtape tour. Yes. Yeah. Um, Bree, do you know what NKOTB is? Yeah, oh, of course not. New kids on the block. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I 
still She's still. Oh she doesn't my god! Them. So they're coming to the UBS Eat Arena, which is the block. so exciting. Oh my god! And Salt and Pepper, like I salt, said. Let me tell you, Salt and Pepper from Long Island. Yeah. And Vogue too. Oh, oh my god, that's awesome. Rick Astley. Rick Astley. Oh my god. I love that Rick Astley meme. That's like things that Rick Astley would never do. Right. Give you up. Let you down. Turn around. <laughs> desert you. <laughs> I never saw oh it. That's God, so it's funny. Classic. I was like, things that Rick Astley would never do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So there were, today there was like a huge article in the uh, celebrity section of Newsday mm. about Lindsay Lohan mm. launch, launching her very own podcast. I did see that. Not coming until like late what next takes year. Someone, Lindsay, I'm like, Lindsay, just start what's recording. up? Exactly. Um, there's no title. Right. But Everything everybody's you- super excited and happy for her. I'm sure. Lindsay, start it now. Yeah. Everything you say will be gold. And, yeah, 100%. Well, hold I'm sure it's amazing. And and you know who else started a, a podcast? Now that she's free, Brittany. Ah, I love it. I kind of need to hear hours long. Yes. Because I'm seeing the Instagram post and I'm alarmed. I'm alarmed too. It's like, bad. Well, did you see it yesterday? Like with the doll? I don't know what she was doing. I saw the one where she was fully naked. Well, I get that. I was like, okay. Get it, Britt. That's well, cool. You, I, but Tegan, like, I was like, did you see it? We're all talking about it at family dinner. And mm-hmm. she's like, they, they're like, oh, Miss Girl. <laughs> Miss girl, Calm no. down. <laughs> I know. But she had like this whole video post about having a baby, but she was like holding a doll. It was really awkward and weird. I don't know what happened. So, uh, any other celebrity? That you have? What about the uh, obituary? Oh God, yes. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so Frank Locascio, eighty-nine, ex Gambino underboss. Ex Gambino underboss. This is the title of the obituary. Yes, it's a big giant picture. <laughs> it took the whole f- first half page of Long Island Newsday. Oh my God, this gosh. is real. I'm telling you, people think I'm into it because it's like real life. Um, Frank Locascio, the once obscure figure who, uh, whose underworld career accelerated when the late Gambino crime boss John Gotti appointed him acting second in command, died Friday in federal prison. Uh, in a website posting, they said he was 89. Um, he was serving a life sentence without parole after his conviction with Gotti on racketeering charges. And let's see, hold on here. Is it, he was under the radar much of his criminal life after becoming a maid member, yeah. P.S., <laughs> he of, made. of the Gambino crime family at age 21 and running a crew of gangsters in the Bronx who specialized in gambling activities Said one for me, and then uh, he has strong aversion to. Co- he had a strong aversion to cooperating with authorities. Wow! And this was the quote: "He was a real loyal gangster who never talked to police," said a former FBI agent. Um, and then when he took over the Gambino crime family in 1985, after engineering the assassination of then boss Paul Castellano, he picked Locasio to be his acting underboss. Uh, there was a great quote in here, though. He let's see. I want to get you this quote because he was like. Oh, at his sentencing, Locasio protested his innocence, but said, I am guilty, though, of being a good friend to John Gotti. And if there were more men like John Gotti on this earth, we would have a better country. Oh. I was like, He's loyal made. to loyal the, he is to the soil. <laughs> that, I want all of Discover Long Island staff to remember that. Right. Okay. Right. When you up. are made. You're made. You are made for life, okay? We and ain't running against gangsters Even when you here. are going to prison for life, you better Jeez. say that, okay? I am loyal. <laughs> you, loyalty. That is hysterical. Like, you can't. That's that's what's so cool, <clears throat> though. That's what it is about the mob. It's like, it's the loyalty that is unheard Un- of. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In corporate world, in business world. Yeah. Because it's, you, you mess up and you ride out and... They'll be. You would have been childhood friends. Yeah. And guess what? You're sleeping with the fishes, Sharon. <laughs> okay. You're cemented to the floor. <laughs> no, it's so true. Like it's so. It's true. crazy though, yeah. and it's and it's real. It's like this really. It's a, they follow protocol so 100%. much. There's protocol and loyalty and structure. Which I think is unheard of in yeah. most of the rest of our. I mean, we aren't culture. enforcing or enticing or endorsing. Endorsing. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> we're, oh yeah, these, we're not these endorsing the mob. We are not endorsing the mob, but listen, loyalty but is loyalty. It's there. I'm telling you, there are some things to just take away. There are some takeaways. 
Okay. Um, so funny. Yeah, so thank you for reminding me of that because I, I was like, Sharon, did you see the obituaries yeah. today? It's crazy. It's the Gambino family. The Gambino, the guy. I mean, this is true. Well, it was funny because uh, there was a whole thing with the Long Island Railroad like six months, a year ago, and they were like talking about overtime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. they were like, it wasn't, it went on caught for so many years and then i was like did you see my dad was telling me did you read this article yeah it went un undetected for i'm like did you see the name yeah it was gambino yeah yeah it's so true it wasn't not noticed right it was just not brought up right (laughs) i told you when dan started his new job like he met with the union reps and they came full-fledged pinstripe suits and pinky rings Mm. and i was like oh god what are we getting into yeah well but here we are listen it's a family (laughs) yeah what are you gonna do um so that's some real long island life Mm -hmm. for you right there Mm -hmm. and this is real life which i love yes um but what else do you have anything else for teasers or excited or anxiety before we go into no i think you touched on it before with the anxiety with the kids and trick-or-treating that's what i was going to talk about like i'm at the age my son's at the age where he's like going out on his own yeah you know what i mean yeah. like i'm allowing him to ride his bike by himself and mm-hmm. do those things and meet up with his friends and i'm like wavering whether or not i let him like go trick-or-treating with him and his friends by himself like Ooh. you know like i don't know i don't know i don't even know if we're gonna go trick-or-treating to be it's honest so hard. it's like such a weird it's a weird year it's a weird year weird. things are going things are looking better yeah right but it's still not perfect right so i don't know i think that's my anxiety yeah, the only yeah. thing I do is um, I insist on eating the candy because I'm ta- I'm testing it. Yeah, it's I'm my testing to it test for. It. <laughs> I have to test it for razor blades. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> right? I take one for the team. I'm like, let me have your candy. Let me look at it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, so we're super excited. We hope this helps you with your Halloween party festivities. Um, make sure you tune in to LITV for this for that Grace episode. Ghost Hunter because I'm going to be tuning into it. I'll I tell can't you that. wait. I can't wait to hear the team. Yes, and then. Um, Next week, make sure you turn into us because we're gonna have With a medium. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a show. Yeah. I don't even know what's gonna happen. And um, the also the the White Post Farms on on TikTok. Oh my gosh! Or as well as at LITV. And make sure if you have not yet registered for the Rose Hill giveaway, there is still yes. time. You have this whole week. Yep. We'll be doing it next week live. So until then, cheers.